Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1491. Hey, this is the video where you guys voted from 1483 lookup latest product price formula all the way down to 1487. Five different formulas. And in 1488, you guys voted. Let's go over to the online form. Here's the online form, and look at that. Right here in our online form, we can see index match max ifs. And in second place, index match aggregate. These two columns are the winners by far. And that makes sense because these were the most versatile. They didn't require a helper column. They didn't require any sort. Now, I downloaded this. Open in Excel, and here it is, survey results. So here's the column with the names. We're going to build an Excel formula that will tell us exactly the winner. Now I'm going to build two formulas, and then the rule is I'm going to hit Evaluate, which will randomize our formulas 10 times. And on the 10th time, that's the person who wins the book. Now, of course, since the winner was index, I have to use the index function to pull the winner's name. Array, this is an Excel table, so I'm going to click right at the top with my downward pointing arrow. And look at that. That's a crazy column name. Those are the names I want to look up, comma. And I need to randomly select in the row number. So of course, I'm going to use rand between. Now, I don't know how many names I got here or how many columns. So for bottom, well, I'm going to go from one comma all the way to however many rows there are. So I'm going to use the rows function. Rows will just count how many rows there are in that range, including the empty cells. If on the 10th one we get an empty cell, I'll do 10 more. Now close parentheses. So ran between, we'll have the bottom and the top. Close parentheses. So index has the relative position or row number, and there's the name. Now, I'm going to hit Tab. We're not going to start counting yet. So if a name pops up, don't get excited. Tab. It looks like I forgot a parentheses. Close parentheses, and now I'm going to hit Tab. Now, I want to make sure that I not only know the name, but the row number. So match function for lookup value. I'll look up that name comma within this column right here. Since it's not sorted, the match type comma will be exact match 0. Close parentheses and Enter. All right, you ready? We're going to do 10 times. The F9 key evaluates everything, which of course will evaluate the RAND. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there it is. I'm going to highlight both of these. Right click the edge with my move cursor. I'm right clicking. I'm going to drag down. Let go of the right click and copy here as values only. That's a cool way to paste special values. So Henry G at Zuho.com, you are going to get mailed a free book. Now, Henry, if you want to send me your address, just send an email to Excel is fun, no spaces at Gmail. All right, that was a lot of fun. We'll do this again soon. In fact, next week we'll have a battle of solutions between Power Query, DAX, Power BI, Desktop, Power Pivot, and Excel formulas. And you guys will get to vote, and we'll send out some more free books. All right, we'll see you next video.